Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, well look, I sat down last night to try and figure out the trainer gallery for Silver Tempest. Because like we saw in the previous three sets, there's going to be a 30-card trainer gallery of what was secret rare cards over in Japan. And I figured, hey, I wonder how close I can get to figuring out the trainer gallery. And I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm pretty sure I've got it. I'm pretty sure I figured out the entire 30-yard trainer gallery from Silver Tempest. And on the one hand, I'm a little bit proud of myself for getting what I'm pretty sure is the full 30-yard trainer gallery. And on the other hand, it was really not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So I'm not sure how proud I should really be. You see, a lot of the trainer gallery is coming around from VMAX Climax. That was a set over in Japan that really, you know, brought in those character rares and character super rares. And then there were basically a whole bunch of secret rare cards, and we just didn't get them. But we got a few of them in Brilliant Stars, and then we got a few of them in Astral Radiance, and then we got a few of them in Lost Origin, or I suppose it's not actually out for a couple of days, so we're going to be getting a few of them in Lost Origin, and then there's a few left over. But I sat down and I did the maths, and it actually turns out that if we look at the cards that we currently don't have from Silver Tempest, what we've basically got is 26 cards. There are 26 cards from VMAX Climax that would fit in the trainer gallery that we currently don't have. Now, 26 isn't 30, but there is one other thing which is very important to note, and that is that the trainer gallery is also made up of Japanese A sets. So, like the very recently released set in Japan, and I'm hoping there will be an opening of this on my channel tomorrow, Incandescent Arcana. And Incandescent Arcana brings in character rares like the absolutely amazing Haiganosuke Jinx. And it also brings in character super rares like that phenomenal Superior. And there are eight of those cards in Incandescent Arcana, which we would expect to be in the Trainer Gallery, because they have been for both Battle Region and Dark Phantasma, the other recent A sets in Japan. So I would expect Incandescent Arcana to be in the Trainer Gallery for Silver Tempest, in the same way that Dark Phantasma is in the Trainer Gallery for Lost Origin. That just makes way too much sense, and that is the way they're absolutely doing it. So, yeah. It would be extremely strange at this stage. It would be like over the top crazy weird if that wasn't the way it all worked out. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, hang on a second, Wasi. You told us you had 26 cards. You just added in eight. That brings us to 34. Doesn't that mean we're four cards over? Yes. Obviously, it means we are four cards over. But this is a time I need to talk about more Pico character super rare. You see, four of the cards from VMAX Climax were actually the four cards that made up the character Super Rare of Morpico. Now, in Japan, they don't mind putting these V-Union into packs. I mean, if we look at celebrations for us, we had Pikachu V-Union in its own box. We have always got V-Unions in their own box. That's the way it's always gone. But over in Japan, it was just in packs of the 25th anniversary. And they were five card packs. And if you're very lucky, one of your packs is Pikachu V Union and an energy card. And Morpico, the regular and the character Super Rare, were both just in packs of VMAX Climax. That is not the way we have ever done it. We have never done it that way outside. Well, in US, Europe, etc. Other Asian territories have. So my point is... Do not expect to get more Pico V Union character super rare in Silver Tempest. That is not the way we do things. It is not the way we have ever done things. So we take out those four and all of a sudden we are sitting at exactly 30 cards. If you take the cards from VMAX Climax we're missing, you add in the cards from Incandescent Arcana that are going to be in the trainer gallery because, you know, that's the way it works. You remove more Pico character super rare because, as I've explained, we don't get the V-Union in packs. We're there. If we do all of that, we literally arrive at exactly 30 cards. And I'm willing to bet, I feel very strongly, that that is going to be 
the trainer gallery for Silver Tempest. I think we have arrived at exactly 30 cards that is the trainer gallery for Silver Tempest. So let's run through what we're getting. Now, I'm not saying these are going to be in order. Although, actually, it might literally be in order. But we do have at least all the cards. So, in terms of the character rares, we should be getting the character rare of Flaffy featuring Elisa. That's the one with a good energy acceleration ability. We should be getting the Malamar featuring Zerosic. And we all know that's a lovely single prize deck. We should be getting the Rockruff featuring Professor Kukui. And, of course, yes... It's a rock rough, it's just an evolving Pokemon, but look how adorable it is. We should be getting the Persimian featuring Black Belt. Doesn't see much play at the moment, but remember it increases the damage you do to the bench, so there's always potential. And we should be getting the Drudigan, which comes along with Ace Trainer Dara. That is, those are the ones from VMAX Climax that we should be expecting. But then we should also be getting the six character rares that are coming around in Incandescent Arcana. So the Breaks In with Serena. Love the artwork on that one. Not a great card, but love the artwork. The Milotic with Wallace. Again, not a great card, but absolutely beautiful. The Jinx with Will. Jinx is actually a really interesting card. Go search on this channel. We talked about it before. But basically, it doesn't give up a prize if it is KO'd by a Pokemon V. And it does a whole 10 plus 10 damage for each damage counter on them thing. Which is really good for two hit KOs. Plus, you know, the amazing Hyaganasuke artwork. We've got the upcoming Gardevoir. Which comes in with Diantha. We've got Smeargle. Which just comes in with generic artists. But look how beautiful the artwork is. And then we've got Lizia with Altaria. Uh, for anyone wondering, this and the Serena and Breaks in are the most expensive ones in Japan from this set, as I showed you yesterday. But honestly, that's just because the characters are very popular. Now, moving into the character Super Rares, these are the same, but they are Vs and V Maxes. We are finally, finally, finally getting my very favorite one, the Hyaganasuke Krikatune V. I actually bought two of these just because I love it so much. It is absolutely stunning. Plus, Krikatune's good for drawing cards, but this is my favorite of the character Super Rares from VMAX Climax. It has been. This is actually the card that made me fall in love with Hygen Asuke as an artist. So happy we're finally getting it. We should then be getting the Blaziken V and VMAX featuring May, which is pretty cool. The Zero Aura V featuring Celine. Uh, Zero Aura I always thought was going to be better than it ended up being. That makes me very sad. We should be getting the Corviknight V and VMAX featuring Cabby. I got really lucky with my boxes of VMAX Climax generally. But one of my boxes did have this Corviknight V. And it's not actually my favorite in terms of character or artist or Pokemon. So cheers for that. We should finally be getting the Rayquaza VMAX featuring Zinnia. And Duraludon VMAX featuring Raihan. We've been waiting for them for a while. And then, remember, there are no character rare Vs because they actually came way back in Evolving Skies. And then we should be getting Blissey V with Pokemon Center Lady. But then, of course, we've got the two from Incandescent Arcana. So we should be getting the character super rares of Superior featuring Rosa. And oh my goodness, I absolutely adore this one. The artwork is stunning. And we should be getting more Isle featuring BD. So those should be all of the Pokemon we're getting in the Trainer Gallery. Well, all of the character rares and character super rares. There's a couple of gold. We will circle back to them. Now, in terms of your supporter cards, again, the numbers work absolutely perfectly. We should finally be getting Gala Friends, or Friends in Gala as we call it. Now, this is the one that gives me a slight pause. Because I don't understand why this card wasn't in Brilliant Stars. Because we got the regular Friends in Gala in Brilliant Stars. And Pokemon generally are very, very hot on putting the secret rare versions of cards in the same set as the regular version. So I don't understand why we would get Friends in Gala in Silver Tempest that you know, the full art version, when the regular came in Brilliant Stars, that doesn't make much sense to me, 
But I'm telling you that the numbers work perfectly for it to be in this set. If we take it out of the set, then we've only got 29 trainer gallery cards and I don't know where the last one would come from. So yes, I think it's weird that this is going to be in Silver Tempest and it doesn't really make sense why was it not in Brilliant Stars. But we have, if you take out more Pico, and like I've explained, I think we need to, if you take out more Pico, then between VMAX, Climax, and Incandescent Arcana, the cards that we would expect to be in the trainer gallery for Silver Tempest, we have exactly 30 cards. So it's weird, but I think it's in there. We've then got Full Art of Raihan. Good card sees a bunch of play. Judge. Good card sees a bunch of play. Sword Word and Shieldbert. Bad card. Sees basically no play whatsoever. Professor Burnett. Remember, not Professor's Research. This is the one that helps all of those lovely V Union. And yes, I know that putting the V Union supporter, Professor Burnett, into a set with more Pico V Union would make sense. But once again, we have never got V Union's impacts, and I don't think it's going to happen now. And then one more Gordy, because I don't know who doesn't want Gordy. Ha! Ah. And then that just leaves the two gold cards, which have to be Rayquaza and Duraludon. Because basically, that there were eight. And we've already had six. And we're getting two per set. And the only ones left are Rayquaza and Duraludon. So it kind of has to be these two. Also, the fact that Rayquaza and Duraludon are the gold cards also tells us that the V Maxes, the character super rares of Rayquaza and Duraludon are in the set. But like I've said, we, we don't, in this particular set, we don't need to sit down and try and figure out which cards are in and which cards are out because there's literally 30 cards left and I feel very confident this is a trainer gallery from Silver Tempest. Could I be wrong? Absolutely I could be wrong. One thing I like to say is good predictions can be wrong and bad predictions can be right. I've sat down and done the numbers and between VMAX Climax, which has been feeding our trainer gallery since Brilliant Stars, and Incandescent Arcana, which, like I've said, the A-sets come into the trainer gallery of the next English language set. Judging by everything they've done so far, these will be the 30 cards in the trainer gallery. They could be wrong, but if they're wrong, it's because Pokemon's thrown us a curveball and done something we're not expecting. Doesn't mean this isn't a very sensible prediction of the 30 trainer gallery cards, but it does mean that Pokemon could throw us a curveball and then things would be a bit weird. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty confident, so I want to hear from you guys. I want to know which of these cards you're looking to. I mean, for me, there's two high and a Suke card, so I'm kind of in heaven. But I want to know which ones you're excited about, so let me know in the comment section. Get us! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel... Get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and chat Pokemon with us, and frankly have an awful lot of fun. And we do give shout outs over on, well, on these videos to people on the Patreon, like the lovely Andy White. Thank you to Andy for being a lovely person and for the support. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.